that I'm just like trying to make people notice me or that like I, there's others you know I, I would I would rather be doing this with my time than things that are more interesting and productive wow you are you are so wrong I hate all of it I hate dealing with it I hate trying to like decipher what's going on all the time I hate the fact that it's happening I've always hated like, I've always always hated documenting it I was I was screaming about that from the first week I was like I'm chained I'm chained to my computer like when I was when I was actually you know I had a place to live for I was thinking of parents house and I was writing about this stuff, I don't know, writing about it. It got to the point where I was writing about it a lot. Ran, it was like 10 hours, eight hours, something like that, which I continued when I got to Boston. I write for like eight or 10 hours a day about it. Uh, but there was kind of just nothing else I could do. I didn't know what else to do. Um, Cause it was so, so serious. Everything that was happening was so serious. Um, it's such a huge threat to like social stability literally around the world. I mean, it would, it would change the entire world in these absolutely horrifyingly negative ways. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, I don't, it's, it's still, it's still quite serious. I mean, it's still quite serious, really, really dangerous. Um, the fact that it happens at all is, um, I think, indicative of the fact that something that really, really, there needs to be more work done on, you know, cementing women's equality, protecting children's rights, that kind of thing. I mean, the, these, the thing is, I mean, these ideas are really pretty recent. The idea of, like, rights for children rights for women, that kind of thing, like just having them actually be, you know, written about and protected by law and so, so socially considered important. Those are they're relatively recent ideas actually. Um, so nobody should be thinking like that this is some this is some like trying to destroy those things is actually some kind of new thing. Because it totally isn't. It totally isn't. S G A V ninety. You know, and now we have the technology to make to make things happen very, very quickly. It's E seven oh three. it's 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 kind of like the beginning of the century, the beginning of the last century, where all of a sudden, uh, like warfare was possible on a scale that was like just you couldn't even imagine before, um, and so I feel like I feel like I'm like sort of veering off into another topic, but I, I don't I, I don't know that it is, you know. So all of a sudden, I mean, like, say say you have people who are just 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 as ready to kill each other um, in 1900 as they are. Um, no, in 1800 as they are in 1900. Well, you, you know, no matter no matter how much you want to kill somebody, if all you have available to you are, you know, sticks, sticks, <laughs> you know, <what> said? <laughs> sticks or guns, that kind of thing, um, just regular old guns, you're not going to be able to do as much damage to each other as you could by like the night, the like the the teens of the, the teens of the last century. Right, and there were things about that war that were like outlawed afterwards, even for war, like things like chemical warfare, that kind of thing, like gas, um, poison gas. You know, it was, it was just like internationally, I think, disallowed in war after that because it was so horrific. Um, and then, of course, in the Second World War, there was the bomb, the nuclear bomb, right? And so we're still dealing with all of that. So, I mean, these things, these crisis, these crisis moments in history, are when you get to see kind of where humanity is at. You know, and this 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 is um, not as obvious, I suppose, to some people. Um, although certainly for victims of child molestation um, and women who are used to really used to living in cultures that um, where things were already bad for them, I think that they've only gotten worse. I would say over the past few years, um, they could tell you that yes, it's a catastrophe. But I think you know, I mean, it's, it's it can sometimes be one of the dangers of. Um, a society that's set up for freedom to be working working pretty well, but obviously we haven't quite got all the kinks yet, out, have we? No, because the, because it was possible for this to happen. It was possible for this to happen in the, over the past five years, and it did. You know, and it, it seems it seems to be not quite as not quite as just constantly moving towards an acute, serious crisis as it was 
like two and a half years ago, but it's still serious, still around, still bad.